The Center for Neurogenetics is a multidisciplinary research hub that brings together neurologists, genetic counselors, bioinformaticians, neuroscientists uh, from the Brain and Mind Research Institute to work with the patients that we serve here at Weill Cornell to bring to them an end to their genetic diagnostic odyssey and to bring the most advanced treatments to their care. At the Center for Neurogenetics, we focus on both monogenic disorders that are caused by mutations in single genes, as well as complex genetic disorders like late-onset Alzheimer's or multiple sclerosis, forms of Parkinson's disease, and in children, structural birth defects like spina bifida or developmental delays like autism. Patients come to the Center for Neurogenetics through a few different pathways. Some are referred by by their neurologists or by their geneticists because they've not been able to find answers through standard testing that's available on a commercial basis. Some patients find us on their own through searching the web and finding our website and connect directly with us. And these are typically patients who've had extensive testing through their own doctors and yet have not been able to get a diagnosis and find a reason for their symptoms. Julio's daughter is a perfect example of the work that we do at the Center for Neurogenetics. She is someone who we had seen in our neurology clinic for many years, but never had a name or a diagnosis to explain her symptoms. Through investigations, we very recently were able to come up with a specific diagnosis and an understanding of exactly what genetic change is causing her symptoms. Once we had that diagnosis, we were able to then connect with researchers who are studying her disorder. Hopefully this will lead to targeted treatments and will make a difference in the lives of children like Nicole. I feel relief, I feel hope, because I find that the center is the place that really cares about my daughter's condition and they make making an effort to find a way how to treat her and improve her life condition as well for us. So Robin is a patient with a personal and family history of Parkinson's disease and as we know Parkinson's is very common in the general population and she was really looking for an answer to see why she had this history. And so clinical testing was not diagnostic. We didn't find an answer and so now we're working with her tirelessly to see whether or not the research realm can help us give those answers for her and family members. The importance of collaboration between patients and scientists, whether they're clinicians or research scientists in terms of curing disease, is absolutely central. And I would gladly give of whatever, <laughs> whatever genes I can offer to the Center for Neurological Research because it's saving my life because someday it could save my son's life. There has been an extensive amount of research looking at the genetic risk factors associated with multiple sclerosis. And the genome-wide association studies have been able to identify over 200 genetic variants associated with developing multiple sclerosis. However, there's very little data associating this polygenic risk score associated with the clinical phenotype of the disease, or even the MRI phenotype of the disease. So through this collaboration, we can do genome sequencing on these patients and determine whether there is a genetic association to this cluster determination. Computational genomics involves the collaboration between physicians in the center and computer scientists around the analysis of very large data sets with the goal of unraveling function of mutations whose function is sometimes hard to understand. These analysis involves very often the use of machine learning, artificial intelligence, as tools to understand better the function of mutations. Many of these mutations, then once we understand the function, they can be tested in tools such as organoids, uh, you know, which facilitate the interpretation, the further interpretation of some of these mutations. So our work led us to meeting a, an adult patient with cerebellar ataxia. Through our work, we were able to correct a misdiagnosis of spinal cerebellar ataxia in the patient as well as her brother. We offered 
detailed uh, genetic testing as well as confirmatory biochemical testing to show that both siblings didn't actually have a spinal cerebellar ataxia, but had a very rare adult presentation of Neiman Pix type C. By confirming and making this diagnosis, we were able to offer this sibling pair medication that would mitigate the visceral progression of the disorder. Additionally, the verification of their diagnosis would qualify them for a clinical trial for medication that would slow down the neurological progression of this condition. Patient-derived neurons really give us a way to look at these disease processes and ways to treat them in a human model. Typically, animal models are used to look at human diseases, and the problem here is that often we'll see results or responses to certain drugs in animals that don't accurately translate into our human patients. But this gives us a way to look at the exact same system we would want to affect in our patients by deriving from skin cells human neurons. Thus, we can take our results from these models directly to clinic and apply them in trials to treat our patients with new therapies. So one of the major uh, issues in the leukodystrophies is often the genotype-phenotype relationship is not tight. So based on your genotype, I can't tell you what you're going to do in terms of natural history. So what the Center for Neurogenetics allows me to do is collaborate with other institutions to help identify genetic markers that may predict which patients are going to get sick. Doing so early on allows us some time to intervene, and early intervention, especially with these specific gene therapies, will help to maximize neurological outcomes. Our center is all about contributing to the future of precision medicine in neurological disorders. This is something that has been very uh, useful in the treatment of cancers, and the very next specialty to benefit most from precision medicine is neurology.